Of all the water-wise plants we'll be covering this season, bromeliads are my favourite. Few plants are as versatile, varied and easy to maintain. Let's go take a look. Bromeliads are just as at home adorning your home as they are giving your garden a tropical feel. Their diverse foliage, bracts and flowers providing year-round colour, texture and intrigue. If that doesn't convince you, here are a few good reasons you might want to consider bromeliads at home. Bromeliads make excellent water-wise pot plants for anywhere in your home that's reasonably bright and airy. Veresias are an excellent starter plant, prized for their long-lasting flower spikes and varied foliage. Most commercially available bromeliads flower only once, then enter a period of decline, but they produce several offshoots or pups over their lifetime. Depending on the species, you'll be able to see these shoots at the base of the flower stalk or attached at the plant base. These pups can easily be divided from the parent plant after a couple of months and used elsewhere. Most bromeliads will thrive in part shade to dappled sun and require good airflow. Some thicker leaf varieties will also do fine in sunny positions, providing care is taken to introduce them gradually. Too much direct sun too soon will cause leaves to bleach and burn. In many species, leaves form these cups or vase-like wells that trap water and nutritious organic matter. This means your bromeliad will be fine if you forget to water it once in a while. Ideally though, and at least during the warmer, drier months for outdoor plants, the cups or vases should be flushed and filled once per week, which has the added bonus of getting rid of any lurking mosquito larvae. Perhaps most amazingly, and unlike hard cash, bromeliads grow on trees. While some species are terrestrial, others, like Talantia and some Bilbergia species, are epiphytic, meaning they take their nutrients from debris that surrounds them, the air and rain, using trees as platforms. I was lucky enough to travel to Peru earlier in the year and saw these arboreal species in the Andean cloud forests, lining tree branches like tropical Christmas baubles. The effect was breathtaking. Back home, we've created this look in the backyard by simply identifying a branch that has interesting form, wrapping the plant base in sphagnum moss and securing to the tree with plastic-covered wire, string or tree roots. Use the same technique to turn old dead tree stumps into living garden sculptures. So there you have it. Water-wise, gorgeous, low-maintenance and versatile. It's hard not to be mad about bromeliads.